Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm doing a review of 7 Days of Rose on Xbox. Now this was released onto the store pretty recently on the 4th of November 2022, developed by Cross Game Studio and published by Rattleica Games who are kind enough to send me a copy for this video review. Now this is another of those visual novel games that we've covered plenty of times on the channel and this one it sees you basically in the shoes of a teenager called Michael. He's a bit down on his luck, he doesn't really have any sort of drive and like interest in anything and he's basically trying to decide by um the end of summer what he wants to do after he leaves school basically uh then his parents spring on him this sort of family trip to a tropical island um a one week sort of thing and um while he's there obviously he bumps into this girl called rose and basically it's this seven day sort of story about sort of a possible sort of holiday romance and all of the sort of shenanigans you get in uh, a visual novel basically now the game itself uh looks pretty good like i say it's got nice artwork nice background images and stuff like that they've done a great job with them Um it's not voice acted unfortunately the background music isn't too bad it does get a little repetitive after a while but Overall, like I say, in presentation-wise, it looks pretty decent. Now, the game itself isn't super long. You can get through it in a couple of hours. Now, there are sections in the game where there are choices to make in the conversation. If you've seen any of my other visual novel reviews, you'll know I am a stickler for um, wanting them in games, especially visual novels. I, I'm not a big kinetic visual novel fan where it's just a, a story playing out in front of my eyes. I want to have some sort of say over the text that's happening in the conversations so there are a variety of options throughout the story however they don't seem to have a huge effect on the overall plot and um game itself because in my one playthrough all the way through i unlocked all of the achievements so i believe you can probably get most of the achievements if not all of them in one playthrough no matter what you pick now the game um features three different endings that you can unlock and for those sort of uh, visual novel fans out there it does include a cg gallery and a music gallery as well which is always nice so you can go back and look at your favorite pictures uh we know what you're looking at and also listen to the, the songs you like from the game now one thing i do like about this game and um, i haven't tested it or used it but it, it is listed as a feature is it has an open dyslexic font option now that is great that there's always um, accessibility options for people who may struggle reading dialogue and stuff like that. So big up to uh, Cross Game Studio for taking the time to implement that. It, it will make someone's day that they can actually play this game when they obviously may not be able to. Now, um, if you are just an achievement hunter, you can blast through this game in like 10 minutes. You can just skip all the dialogue. Like I've said, there doesn't seem to be any sort of major uh choices you have to make to get the achievement so you can sort of blast through it pretty quickly um but it's not that bad a game at all like i say the story's pretty decent the characters are pretty interesting um and i like that it's set over like the seven day period um but like i say it will not be for everyone visual novels never are now the game is priced at £4.99 and it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. Supports smart delivery so you get the best version depending on which console you're playing on. And it's optimised for Xbox Series X and S with 60fps plus and 4K resolution. But other than that, like I say, not a bad visual novel all in. Um, like I say, I can't really ask for much more. Maybe having a bit more um, meat and consequence to the choices you make. But other than that, like I say, it's got choices in the dialogue and stuff. It's got nice, decent artwork, background and character art. And it's got bearable music. It's not going to like drive you insane. It will get a little repetitive, but like it's like more exotic tunes. So you, you can't complain. It's a bit more unique than other visual novels. But it's available right now. So check it out. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Let us know what you think of this game if you have played it. And hit subscribe because we are so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers on the channel. And then we'll be giving away a copy of God of War Ragnarok on PS5. So uh, check out our social media for more information on that. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you soon for more gaming content. Bye for now.